Hi guys, this is Andrea Ali and in this tutorial I am going to go through all my skincare products. You've been asking me to do a skincare routine for quite a while and well I thought it's about time. So let's get started. The first product that I would like to show you is this Shuemura cleansing oil. I know there are so many people that are against oils because they cause them to break out, but it's not my case. I love it. I feel it is so easy to take your makeup off with this one. I just put four pumps into my palms. I rub my hands together and then I am massaging into my skin and the makeup just melts. And then I'm cleaning everything with water. It is just so easy, so quick. I don't normally use waterproof mascara. I hate it. So I don't know if this thing takes off the waterproof mascara, but for sure it takes off my matte liquid lipstick, which is waterproof. I bought this from Lafayette and it was quite pricey. It came with a travel size the same thing uh, this is the ultimate so this one is supposed to be like the best of the best and this is for drier skin anyway I love it because it leaves my skin so nice and smooth and I just love it. Another product that I've started to use recently, Egg Mousse Soap. This is from Too Cool for School. This is a mousse. Duh. So this, this product, I'm using it if I do not have a lot of makeup on because I don't feel it takes all my makeup off. I mean, I'm the kind of woman that I either look like a beggar wearing no makeup at all. No, I'm all dolled up like this. So this guy in here doesn't take all my makeup off, but it's so much fun to use it. <laughs> it's a thick foam. Put it on your face, you gently massage it, and you leave it for about 20 minutes. Quite a while. I mean, to leave this thing on for 20 minutes. This is more for like the days when I have a lot of time to pamper myself. Other than that, this is my guy. Now before I got, before I bought this, I was also a big fan of Bioderma, the one for sensitive skin, the pink one. It is a micellar water. I really like that one. But in the time when I was using, I had a breakout and I wanted to change every single product that I was using back then. This is the reason why I stopped buying it. Another great great product and I don't know why I didn't start with this one I've been using this for one year now this is my second jar I just received it like a week and a half ago this is the Kopari coconut melt I mean I've been using a lot of coconut oils in the past but this guy is the best it is solid it comes with a little scoop like this my husband says it has a very strong coconut smell so you take a little bit it transform into oil and I do the same thing as I do with with my other oil I just massage it into my skin as a cleanser and then I use cotton pads to take it off to take off all my makeup the thing with this is that it has so much use you can use Use it as a moisturizer you could use it as a mask for your hair you could use it for your under eyes I've seen so many other youtubers using this as their under eye cream it moisturizes so well if there is anything that I could like swear by would be this product so it really separates Kopari coconut melt besides the fancy name to the rest of the oils that you find at the grocery shelf it is the fact that is 100% organic. Each jar contains pure organic oil from the Philippines. It's free of sulfates, silicones and parabens. It is as pure as you could possibly get. So this one you could use it as a massage oil, as a mask, moisturizer for your body, for taking your makeup off. Well, I use it to take my makeup off. Moving on. This was being called Miracle in a Bottle. It is P50W. And recently, I've purchased P50. This is from Biologique Recherche. And let me tell you a little bit more about this product. So I don't know if you remember a couple of months ago, I've had really, really bad acne. I normally have 
pretty good skin. I've got a lot of imperfections. I've got large pores. I've got the blackheads, but not like acne, you know, like the ones that actually hurt under the skin. I didn't have that kind of thing. One morning I woke up and I started to feel some bumps on my jawline and it, it was kind of itchy. The next three to four days, I've developed the ugliest acne I've ever had in my life. I've also had this similar thing right before I got married. So on my wedding day, my skin was just awful. But thank God I'm a makeup artist, right? I don't know what causes this. I went to the doctor. I did all the tests and it looks like I am healthy. The only explanation would be stress and maybe an allergy to an ingredient which I actually don't really think so. I tend to believe it is stress. I do see my skin looking so much worse when I don't sleep and when I don't drink enough water, but mostly when I don't sleep. So having that huge problem with my skin again, as I was in France and I, I just needed to, to do something quick. So I found this clinic it's called Biologique Recherche and it was recommended to me by a client at Sephora. She came to Sephora and she had beautiful glowy skin and I had all those acne on my on my skin. I was looking at her like I wish I had that. And I actually told her, how come your skin looks so beautiful? Like, honestly, it looked amazing. It was so glowy and, and, and dewy. And she actually said, oh, thank you. I'm just uh, coming back from this um, facial I had at Biologique Cherche. And I was like, oh, what is this? She looked at me and she's like, you don't know what Biologique Recherche is? I'm like, no, I just got to France. I'm sorry. I'm just maybe you should tell me what it is. She's like, oh my God, this, this this really famous clinic, like all the fashion week models come in here to do uh, treatments and actors like Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie uh, are using their products and uh, they're amazing. And I was like, how come I never heard of this? But you know, living in Paris, I realized I, I don't know anything. Like. I lived basically in vain. She, this client explained to me that she used to have a lot of blackheads and problems with acne as well. I kind of looked at her and I didn't believe because she looked like that kind of person that never had any problem with her skin in her life. You know, those kind of gifted people, you look at them, they have a pimple and they complain. Yeah, they're like, oh no, my skin is not perfect. Like, look, I've got one pimple. Okay, right after I, I finished work, I went straight to um, this clinic, which was exactly like two blocks away from Sephora Champs-Élysées. And I have made an appointment. I let them look at my skin and they said, okay, I know what kind of treatment you need, but you have to come to this facial treatment first and we are going to test some products on you. And girls, I remember I went there and I had the best facial treatment in my life. It didn't do extractions which I would normally prefer since I've got a lot of blackheads, but my skin looked amazing. I don't know what they do, what they use, and it's just amazing. At the end, she told me about this miracle in a bottle called P50. Well, actually, the one that I bought is P50W, which is the lightest version of the P50 lotion. It's basically an exfoliator, but it's a natural one. It has, I think one of the ingredients is onion. I do have to warn you about this one. My husband says that when I use it, we don't have mosquitoes in the room because it smells like trash but it does the job i don't care i was born with no sense of smelling let him suffer i want to have nice and clear skin so i've come to finish this bottle like a few days ago but i want to tell you that it really gives you a whole new skin normally after i have a breakout like that i tend to have a lot of spots my skin looks very just 
very aged and this helps you with renewing your skin I apply it on a cotton pad and after I clean my face I tap it all over my face and my neck and it has like a sticky filling and after I apply this and I use all the other products that I'm about to show you but this is like this is my go-to product this is the one that saved my skin and because I've finished it I went just the other day and I bought the P50 which is the original version a stronger version of the PW the reason why I didn't get a medium size this is a medium size it comes also in a big size a little bit bigger than this I got the small size because I was being advised to test this for a few days a few weeks maybe to see if it works better if I don't have any reaction any redness now I'm using the stronger one and today actually I did a facial treatment at Biologique Recherche and I think that my skin never looked better than this I do have quite a lot of highlighter the new one from Anastasia Beverly Hills the one with Nicole Carrier or whatever you pronounce her name um, <clears throat> so I don't know where you find this. I'm sure that you could find it on Amazon. If not, find a friend that lives in France and get it if you have problems. And not only if you have problems, it is such a great exfoliator. Let me tell you what it does. I'll read it directly from the internet. So P50 balancing exfoliators speed up the epiderm's natural exfoliating process and the reconstruction of the epidermal shield. Guys, Guys, this is my holy grail. This is the one that I swear by. Just so you know, I haven't been paid or anything like that. They don't even know about my existence. So <laughs> I'm telling you, honestly, from my own experience and for the results that I've seen from this product. Okay, so P50, it is supposed to be used morning and evening but honestly i only use it at night and i'll explain why because i'm moving around the city a lot and i stay in the sun i wouldn't say a lot but you know i get touched by the sun during the day so this being an exfoliator you kind of need to stay away from the sun or use very high uh, SPF protection which I normally do but not very high not as high as I'm supposed to when using this product so that's why in the morning I I try to stay away from that product another product that really changed my life it is this tea tree oil I was in the United States in January for IMETS and I had huge problem with my skin. Like you cannot see, I don't know if you saw my vlog, if not I'll put a link somewhere in here. My skin didn't look bad in the video because ugh, makeup artist, but it was really really bad. At that time Desi Perkins was doing a, Desi Perkins who is a YouTuber as well, she was doing a skincare routine, I think, or she was talking about it on her social media, maybe Snapchat. I think Snapchat. Anyway, she was talking about how amazing is the tea tree oil and how it just saved her. So me being in LA, I was like, okay, I need to get a tea tree oil. And I didn't care about the brand. I went to the pharmacy and I got the first one that I was being recommended. I use this with a Q-tip only over the pimple. And like magic, the next day when you wake up, it is so much better. Like the big pimples that you have would look so much better. It would dry the pimple. I don't know what it does because it's like an oil, so it doesn't make any sense for me. But it does the job. On the bottle, it says that it, it should not be applied as it is. You have to combine it with water. I'm gonna be honest with you, I did not. I put it on my face just the way it is. But, but never do what other people do, because, you know, each and every one of us, it is different. So you have to do your own research. Check out where, what's best for you. I'm telling you what works for me maybe it's not gonna work for you i hope it's gonna work for you but i don't know that's the truth so this tea tree oil i'm sure you can find it at the pharmacy it doesn't have to be this brand in particular moving on to my favorite serum from caress looks like this i love this applicator i feel like a chemist like... Mm. what does this button do 
Dexter. For those of you who are born before 2000, even before 1990. This was being recommended to me by a friend. And it is an anti-wrinkle firming and lifting serum. Now, um, I don't know if you know, but I'm not that young anymore. I mean, I'm young, but I'm not that young anymore if you get the picture. So, <laughs> this is going to be a really long tutorial. So, um, yeah, I need this in my life. I mean, anti-wrinkle, give it to me. Firming and lifting serum, oh yes. So, what I do, I'm using the P50, this stuff now, okay? If I have a pimple, I'm going to spot with this guy in here, the tea tree oil. After that, I'm going to use my my anti-wrinkle serum from Caress and it's going to give me a very nice effect to the skin. So, after I'm using this, I'm using this creme dermopurifiante, also from Biologique Recherche. Basically, I end putting products on my skin at this guy. So this is the, the worst looking cream I've ever seen in my life. I'm showing you this one because I've I've just got a new cream, but I haven't opened it yet. I want to finish this one. I mean, it looks like this. Grandma had a word for this. It's in Romanian. Cannot be translated in any other language. It's alifie. Like, I hate this word, but it describes so good this product. This is an alifie. My husband tells me this smells really really bad but again it balances my skin so if you take good care of your skin i'm so sure that any makeup would look good on you any foundation well not any but most of the foundations would look good on you because they they would go nice and smooth they you wouldn't have like dry area if you haven't started taking care of your skin yet maybe you're young maybe you're just not thinking about it maybe i don't know lots of reasons you should good skin it is best feature that a woman can have this is my this is my belief i want to talk to you about this facial treatment essence from sk2 i got this about a week ago from uh, neta porte i saw desi perkins using this in one of her videos and i was like Maybe I should try this. So SK2 is a Japanese beauty brand. They claim to have like active ingredients that can make your skin look younger. And this company has like a pretty nice history. They were looking for discovering natural ingredients. While doing their research, they were at this sake brewery where the they observed the workers that their hands looked so young so they their face aged normally but their hands was so young looking because they would keep their hands in that fermented yeast all the time so after some research the strain of naturally occurring yeast was isolated for use. So basically, <clears throat> this is supposed to have like some miraculous ingredients that makes you look younger. As you can see, I've just started to use it. So they recommend to use it with a cotton pad, but I think it's such a waste of product. This one, I use it in the morning, right after I cleanse my face. I use this one, I don't use the P50 in the morning, I use this Essence now. Moving on to the only scrub that I use, it's this one from Omorovica. It is so fine. I use this on a wet skin and I like to massage it. I use it like once a week, to be honest with you. Masks! This fresh mask, Vitamin Nectar, I love this one. For some reason, I want to eat it. <laughs> like, it looks like this. It's like, um, it's like a fruity thing. I didn't taste it, just so you know, so I'm so willing to. You put this on your, on your face. I like to do a mask whenever I have five minutes, 10 minutes, two hours. I don't care. I like to use a mask all 
the time. I think there is no perfect moment for a mask. You should just do it, you know, just like Nike. Just do it. And this one is great for luminosity. I love to use this every time I have like an event. I like to use this one. Amazing. And it's the only mask that I can actually put on my husband's face because it smells so goddamn good. It's honestly a new company for me. When I got to France, I got to discover this brand and many others. Uh, but this is one of the brands that I love for skincare. They have amazing skincare products. Two other masks that I love are these ones from Glam Glow. This is for problematic skin, like large pores, black hats. It just sucks on all those impurities on your face. It's a mud mask and it leaves your skin really nice and you see, you actually see resolved after the first use. You see improvements with this one. I love it. Glam Glow, one of my favorites. If you follow me on Snapchat for a while, you know that I used to use this a lot. But then I discovered this one, which is a firming mask, the gravity mask. This is the the one that is so, it's so much fun to take off. It peels like, it's a silvery, looks like this. Sheet masks, Dr. Jart, my favorite sheet masks. Cause they're so much easier to use. I mean, you put this on, you leave it for God knows how long. <laughs> I forget about it. I put it on and I forget about it, to be honest with you. Same with this one, the egg cream mask. This one is from Too Cool For School. By the way, I love the sheet masks from Sephora. I don't, I don't have any right now. I purchase them all the time. And the ones for hands as well. I like them. I've got these masks. Very fun, very fun masks. This rubber mask from Dr. Jart, single use. Actually, I think I might use it live on my Insta stories. I don't know if you are following me on Instagram and Snapchat, but if you don't, you should. You should because I post about new products almost daily and I do it for you guys. I want to discover what's best of the best out there for you. You show me love, I show you love. This is how it works. So guys, this concludes my skincare routine. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you find it useful. Don't forget that what works for me might not work for you. So before you use a product, make sure you do your research. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I do post a video every week, so make sure you are subscribed. This way you're gonna be notified and you're not gonna miss anything. If you have any questions about any product or if you've discovered a product that you really loved and, and made a difference for you, please share it with us. Comment down below and tell me your opinion. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye. Molfoy. I had to take a little bit of a break because I had like a hangry moment, you know? But the thing is that I'm not... I'm not extremely oily like I've seen... I'm sorry, this noise is actually Motanescu that is eating. I can't stop him. Motanescu! Hello, mama. Oh, don't start again. You're making a fool of yourself. In case you haven't met my baby. If you wouldn't leave that much hair, I would love you more. I don't know where I was left because my battery died and I tend to forget my ideas. Never do what others people would, but never do what... what <laughs> Mata gazette.